Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Emily's Autism Life. And if you are new, welcome. Today, we're going to talk about what it was like for me growing up with autism and how it kind of was back when I was a kid, kind of versus now. So as I've mentioned in the previous video, when I was diagnosed, I didn't remember and I didn't really know what it was. But all I cared about, you know, was just being a kid and having fun. Only I just had more like tantrums or something and sensory meltdowns and maybe I screamed more. I don't know. One thing I used to hate back then, I think, was bath time. Like I did not like bath time. I don't know if that was a sensory thing. It probably was, but I was not a fan of bath time at all. You know, especially getting my hair brushed after that wasn't very fun, but I did have shorter hair because as I've also mentioned in the previous video, my mom had cut my hair because she was tired of the screaming and crying because I had long hair back when I was like three and she couldn't take it anymore. She just cut it and said, you know what? If this is what's going to happen, then we're cutting this hair. And I actually did like having shorter hair and I think I still didn't like it being brushed though, even though it was shorter. Another thing that bothered me back then was noises. Now I still kind of am a little overwhelmed by noises even today, but I don't think it was as bad back when I was a kid. I remember we had this vacuum cleaner and it was really loud and I didn't like it. I was afraid of it. I was afraid of the loud noise and I used to run away every time she would get that thing out. Now, despite being autistic and having a little bit of sensory issues, I still love to play and color and dress up and, you know, watch my favorite things on TV and my favorite movies, just like the average kid. Only, like I said, I was a little different, but I did still love to do all that stuff. And yes, we did play with some friends. I did manage to make some friends back then. And I was never bullied or never picked on ever by anyone. Also, another noise I really used to not like was the fire alarm that would go off at school. Like, I used to hate it when fire drills would happen because the fire alarm would just go off unexpectedly and I would get startled and yeah, I did not like the fire alarm. Now, another noteworthy thing is that when I was at school, I would like during recess, I would go play outside, like by myself mostly, but not because I was afraid of people excluding me or not letting me play with them. It's because I just wasn't really particularly interested in what everybody else was doing. And I kind of wanted to, you know, do my own thing. Even though I did have friends there at school, I still kind of wanted to go off and have my own kind of fun, you know. Even back then, there was certain imagery that freaked me out. Like if it just looked like creepy and stuff, I would get pretty freaked out by it. I mean, I still do even to this day, but I don't think my fear is as bad as it was back then. And another thing that I used to be bothered by was when you're on an airplane and when you start to go up, your ears start to pop. And I did not like that at all. That's why my dad and I drove down to Florida once separately while well, my mom and brother and sister flew because I did not like the ear popping. I was very bothered by that. But despite being bothered by those things, I had a great childhood. I had great friends and I had a great family and I still have a great family now. And yeah, I had a great friends and a great family and I did lots of fun things when I was a kid. I've got so many good memories and I've actually got a pretty good memory. Like I can remember, I feel like better than my other, other members of my family can. And they're like, they always ask me, they're like, what year do we do this? What year do we do that? And I, I always tell them, I'm like, yeah, I know what year. Now I don't know everything, but I do know a lot. And that's why sometimes my family relies on me to, you know, ask them what we did, when and where kind of. I would have my fun days, you know, my good days, my happy days, and then I would have my off days. You know, everybody has an off day, but sometimes when you're autistic, you know, off days can be kind of rough. 
like I remember this one time in third grade I so my teacher wasn't happy with my multiplication test results I didn't do very good you know I didn't really pay much attention in class back then but we'll talk about that another time and she was not happy about it and it made me upset and later that night I went up into my room, I think I was crying, and I came downstairs and told my mom and dad, and it was just kind of a rough night for me. We all know growing up isn't easy, and sometimes, especially with autism, it can be a little challenging. But despite all the challenges I've had, I've had a really good childhood. I've got really good childhood memories of me just having fun and having a good time, and I'll cherish those forever. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.